Just imagine, you have a Creality K1, and you take the top cover off, you take the side panels off, and the door. Do you have the Creality K1 Second Edition? Well, let's dive right in this brand new 3D printer from Creality, right here on Zack React. Hey, Zach here, welcome to this video. So yeah, I was working on Creality Print 5.1, and when I was managing the printers and adding a new one, I saw something that caught my eye. Not this one, that is a little bit messed up. Anyways, so I did see the Creality K1 Second Edition. So I went to the Creality shop, but I didn't see it there. So I went to the normal page from Creality, and there it was. So uh, without further ado, let's react to this 3D print and what my thoughts and ideas about it are. Because if you take the enclosure away, do you have the Creality K1 Second Edition? No, you don't. Let me explain. And so here it is, the Creality Second Edition K1. If, if somebody drops by and he wants to know for sure that you have the Creality K1, look on the front side, K1 SE, no doubt about it. Uh, I mean, if you are looking to the other one, it doesn't have it. You need to be sure that if you are buying the Creality Second Edition, that it is really a second edition. If I'm looking to the design right over here, it looks like the build plate is bigger. Flagship level extruder, Kit. Quick swap tri-metal nozzle, which is good. Print speed is 600 millimeters per second, so very similar to the normal Creality K1. So there you don't uh, cut the costs. Uh, optimize uh, for less ringing, so input shaping is in there as well. Hands-free auto leveling and open source for DIY fun. Fun. I don't know which, in which kind of sense Creality means open source for DIY fun. When this is going to be released, is it all open source, yes or no? Are you able to connect this 3D printer to something like Orca Slicer without any problem? I also don't know. Experience from other people will tell if it is or isn't. Reliable top-notch extruder kit. Well, despite extruder, now we have the K1 extruder variant. It is very sleek, it's very, very futuristic. Do like it. Yeah, they are still <laughs> Creality. Stop using renders in order to make it print, pop out, print something on the printer and then take a picture so you can show off what your printer can do. Because now you're assuming that people can 3D print in color. Can it? Is this one also going to be compatible with the CFS? We don't know. We don't know. So the K1 SE uses the same extruder as the K1C. So there is already a difference between the K1 and the K1 Second Edition. What they did with the Creality K1C, they also applied to the Second Edition of the K1. I don't know how the mountings are, but I know that some people on Twitter, you know, said something about the way these gears are attached to the ex whole extruder. There is still a little play because those screws are not grabbing on both sides. So it's too open and uh, there can be a lot of flex. If you just imagine if you are using filament that is too too hard and the hot end cannot melt the plastic down well enough, there's going to be a lot of tension on these gears. So I hope that these are more stiffer, better and not flexing like I did see on Twitter a few weeks ago. So a thousand hours plus clock free extrusion asterisk. So meaning it is tested in the lab environment of Creality. 60 watt hot end, a mighty melter, 75 seconds. So almost one minute and 15 seconds for quick heating from zero to 300 degrees C. So this 3D printer doesn't have any panels. So it's just a fully open 3D printer. However, you can print with uh, temperatures up to 300 degrees C. Which kind of filaments you can print with it? Basically everything, but without an enclosure, I don't see any benefits. Maybe you can print some small things like gears. Yeah, this is a fidget spinner, I don't know why. But just imagine gears or some other things that are not that high, you can maybe come away with it, but it doesn't have any heated enclosure like the Creality K1 has. What they say, the ceramic heater encircling the hot end and can fully melt ABS with an asterisk and other filaments for ultra fast printing. So also here the asterisk printing in ABS requires an additional enclosure. Oh, there you have it. 
they you still need an enclosure. So, like I mentioned, some things you might be able to print without an enclosure, but if the model is getting too big, like you are printing an electrical box or something for your 3D printer that is going to enclose some electronics or stuff like that. You need to have an enclosure. Maybe you can buy those, you know, pop-up tents for your 3D printer. Or maybe you can buy the panel kit for the K1 and you basically have a uh, upgraded, oh, yeah, Creality K1 SE. Durable tri-metal nozzle, easy to maintain. So like mentioned, the Creality K1 second edition has a lot of things that they had on the Creality K1C. K1C, I don't have, I only have the K1, but from all the things that I read, that I've seen online, and also what they said here, they have now such kind of a uh, one hand swap, asterisk, what does that mean? Please ensure proper cool down of the nozzle before swapping. Makes total sense. Nobody wants to burn their hands. The durable steel tipped, Copper nozzle is integrated with a titanium alloy heat break. It blocks heat creep. Nice. It can be swapped super easily. Well, that, that is what we want, right? And then you can swap it with a 0.8. I don't know which kind of nozzle types that they are going to, uh, to do for this 3D printer. Maybe the future will tell. Or maybe Creality is already providing 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0. whatever. That would be nice. So 4, 6, 8. Steady to deliver quality prints, still renders. And so if I'm looking here to this plate, it seems like we have the bottom plate, some dampeners or spacers, and then we have this plastic or this metal part with the K1 SE on it and build volume 220 times 220 times 250. In case you forgot how big your 3D print bed is. Or maybe some other brands are doing that as well. 256 times 250. 56 times 256. It's quite weird because in the beginning nobody was doing that and then some brands are doing that and now a lot of brands doing that. Maybe people were looking up which kind of build volume that they had. Okay, fine. Cool. Um, <laughs> if you have so many printers that you forgot which kind of build volume your printer had, I, I can imagine. Uh, solid frame using die cast parts. Well, die cast aluminum alloy parts. Nice rigid frame yeah so basically the same type of frame you will find in the creality k1 there are since there are no plates it is reinforced you can see here on also on the sides and i think also on the right hand side we have here those triangles to you know to keep the whole printer in um, in shape we have a uh, dynamically balanced parts cooling fan yeah so since the creality k1 se doesn't have this huge fan the airplane fan so they have to come up with something else and so they thought about it too why not putting a 50 15 fan by the extruder and then blow all coolness over the parts the same kind of print speed 600 millimeters per second and the maximum acceleration 20,000 millimeters per second squared basically the same as the creality k1 now when you are looking to this picture this is the same picture as you can find right over here i can prove it to you here it's the same picture however they were thoughtful of it to actually unlike this one here you have the big airplane fan it's not there if you look very carefully i do see something black here maybe they uh you know wiped it away but here we still see all yeah okay the back panel the back panel i'm, I'm not going to say anything about it but here the side panels are still visible like you can see right over here. Did they put some extra details here? No, they, they put it like that, that you don't see it. But this really looks like the K1 and not the K1 SE. And I also see just like in the picture right over here. No, wait, hold, hold your horses. So here in this image, the K1, you don't see the camera because the camera is optional. Now, when you are looking to this one here, we do have a camera. So I assume that this camera is not an optional thing anymore. It is a standard thing. I would say, well done, Creality. However, if you scroll down further down this page, you will find that the camera is still an optional thing that you have to buy separately. <sighs> Creality, please include these kind of things because these are the things that are not, I don't want to say that expensive, but they will add a lot of value to a standard 3D printer that you want to see as a flagship. But that's my 
10 cents, uh, 5 cents about it. No, 2 cents, 2 cents. Uh, well, actually, I think like $35. Yeah, so further, basically, this looks pretty much the same. Easy smart operations. Yeah, of course, this 3D printer, you can connect with the Creality Cloud, which I am not really a big fan of, but everybody, you know, has to know for themselves if they want to connect and bind this 3D printer to Creality Cloud in order to get the printer going. I would love to see that this 3D printer has also a profile in Orca Slicer. How difficult is it going to be for Creality to do something like that? They have already profile on, on Creality Print, so why not taking the extra mile? Out of the box. So out of the box, from unboxing to powering on, not printing, in three minutes. Asterix. Don't hold your breath. Uh, it's not there. <laughs> if you thought you will find it, you won't. You won't. You're not going to find it. But like data from Creality Lab. Powering on doesn't mean that you are printing yet. You still need to do the calibration and all first startup things. So let's let's say that, that it's really a good day and you can print in 30 minutes. The boot up guide is similar to that of a new smartphone. Which one? Android or Apple? Auto calibration with one tap. However, <laughs> you, you see here auto leveling, auto Z offset, which is cool, and auto input shaping. They have here a uh, render and self check. They don't have input shaping on, but auto leveling. If you advertise with, you know, auto leveling, auto Z offset, and input shaping, I would have selected both. But that's, that's my take on it. Partial failure. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Just imagine you are away from home. And you are checking on your printer using Creality Cloud app and watching your print and you see that something failed. How can you see that if there is no camera there, right? Makes sense. So in this case, I would say if you are sitting in your print room, workspace or whatever the space is where you have these kind of printers in, when you are babysitting your 3D printer and you see with your hawk eye that something goes wrong, you can exclude this, this part. Yeah. That, that's pretty cool. But then the thing is, you have to babysit your printer. The feature sounds really nice, but if you don't have a camera, you cannot exclude it if you don't see it, right? There's no AI detection. It doesn't do it automatically, so hmm, I wonder. Open source for endless fun. Do they write something about this? Open source for endless fun. Am I missing something here? So I see a workshop with some tools, with some spools of filament. I don't want to combine woodworking in the same space or area where I also have my 3D printer without an enclosure. Just imagine imagining having all the wood dust on your build plate and you're starting to print and wonder why your fil uh, prints are failing because it doesn't stick to the build plate. Hey, I don't know. Yeah, if they are saying open source, are they meaning like open source? Open source, reality OS. <laughs> Creality OS or Creality? I I hate this term. Creality OS based on based on Clipper, but according to Creality 5.1, the K1 is now Clipper, not Creality OS anymore. Creality OS enables many advanced functions such as linear advance in and input shaping. You can customize it or join the open source community to explore more. If you are going to open up your 3D printer, meaning in the menu you can root your 3D printer, you get a warning that you have to be very sure that you know what you're doing. Creality Print 5.0 for slicing freedom. No, I do not think that because yeah, you have Creality Print, people can start printing, fine, cool, but it doesn't give you any slicing freedom because where are the profiles? In Orca Slicer, in Prusa Slicer, in Bamboo Studio, why are those? reality so other thoughtful ideas and some of them are actually pretty cool so i was digging and i found out that the build plate here just says in the specs because you have to scroll all the way down build surface flexible build plate i don't know uh which kind of surface coating that they are using but on the k1 they say epoxy resin build plate is this like the resin from 3d printing resin 
or which kind of epoxy resin is this? Heat and wear resistant, bendable for easy print removal. Then they have also here the pre-installed dampening pads. Yeah, I know on my printer I didn't use those dampening pads yet. Maybe in the future of studio I will use them. But also one other cool thing on the build plate, I would say like put this one here and this one on the side or, you know, have them grouped together because this one is also for the build plate and they are using a silicon wiping strip. So before your print starts, you see that the hot end is going to be heated up. I think the bed as well. And then the nozzle goes over the backside of the build plate and does do something. So if it is priming the nozzle tip, then this is a cool feature because silicon is more heat resistant and makes the nozzle tip clean so that you don't have weird stuff sitting in your filament. Yeah, official optional accessories. Yeah, the Creality Hyperfilament, it, it is a consumable. I cannot understand why they have it as optional accessories. You can also buy uh, the, the Space Pie Filament Dryer. Those seems to be very cool. And an AI camera. It supports real-time monitoring, monitoring Creality, and time-lapse filming. So this camera is optional and it will cost around the 35 till 40 US dollars. So if you want to have this monitoring function, you need to buy this camera. It isn't a standard thing that comes with the printer. So yeah, uh, I will put the link in the description of this video so that you can watch the whole thing. I don't know when it is going to be published and when you are able to buy it. If you are clicking on buy now, you will be brought to this Amazon page and this 3D printer. So for 406 euros, you can buy this uh, Creality K1SE. I'll put the affiliate link because this is amazon.com. I will put the affiliate link in the description as in the video as well. Keep an eye on the Creality store because at this moment from recording, if I'm going for the Creality K1, we only have the known three ones. Uh, so I think that this 3D printer is going to be released somewhere this month, maybe beginning of October. Check out the links in the description. Hey, if you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. Thank you so much. If you're new here and not subscribed, subscribe, like this video, and let me know in the comments, what do you think about the new Creality K1 Second Edition?